Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change. Today, we're going to talk about the 21 year old age gap. Let's get into the video. Let's move to Paige is my girlfriend. We're okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Now it's official. Just happened right here on live. Natty Eats Junk asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh, God. Well, you were the one who asked me to move in. Let's move to Wyoming together and raise dogs. And we'll get married in Vegas. And you were like, yeah, good. Kind of. Let me take your last name. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natty Eats Junk, and this is... I'm Paige. We have been together for... Three weeks. Three weeks. Like 21 days. Our age... Before I start this, man, can I say this? Why do people feel like they always have to put everything on their uh, TikTok? Like, is that something special? Hello, we've been together for three weeks. Wow. Congratulations. And then people, and what also bothers me is still, you know how it always goes. As soon as they do something like this on TikTok and make it public, and then when people have an opinion on it, they're like, people are always in our business. Let, our, let us live our lives. You put it on TikTok. Don't put something on TikTok if you're not ready for somebody to say something. At least, I mean, that's just so foolish to me. If you don't want us to talk about it, don't tell us. We won't know. Gap is 21 years. Within uh, 12 hours of meeting each other about, we had decided that we were now roommates, fiancés. Uh, what do we say? 12 hours. <laughs> Boyfriend, roommate, fiancé. It's a little crazy, obviously. So the way I like rationalized it to myself was that if, if I were in an arranged marriage somehow and the, I was arranged to be Keep with- Keep this in mind, guys. They've been together for three weeks, but he just said within 12 hours that they knew that they wanted to be Boyfriend, roommate, fiance. 12 hours. They already knew they wanted to get married. And if Page you're thinking what I'm oh, thinking, cool. you'd probably be right. Great choice. Thank you. These people know me well. Yeah. It sounds so cheesy. And I'm like embarrassed to say that in front of you. Like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. She can't know. Really. I feel like it. what's cheesy is it feels like one of those like when you know you know moments. And that's like the cheesiest, silliest. <laughs> Even though they've only been together three weeks, they believe when you know, you know. Yeah, and it wasn't like, it was so almost so normal. Yeah. If, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh. And it, like, it sounds like it's like so whirlwindy. Yeah. But has it really been? It doesn't feel like it. It just doesn't feel crazy. Yeah. A lot of people question and make assumptions about their relationship. I feel like everything that is assumed right now is completely incorrect, like naive, that I don't know what I'm getting into. Are you filming it? Yeah, uh, we, we might think that just for a quick second, young lady. And I understand she's 25. They're going to say that she's 25. He's 46. That makes a 21 year old age. So I want to say this: she is 25. So her brain is fully developed. I don't I don't have a problem with them necessarily getting together. My What I question is, is within 12 hours, you knew you wanted to marry each other. You got to wonder what kind of what kind of person who's 45, what kind of person who's, I mean, 46, what kind of person who's 25 thinks, hey, I want to get to, I just met this person less than a half a day ago and I already want to marry them. I've already moved in. Like what circumstances could you have met that you say, I want to move in with this person? Like what could you have possibly said to each other to make it seem, you know, I said the same argument in a video not too long ago where some woman, she was pregnant. If y'all remember, she's pregnant. She meets this guy and she says he was so genuine the word genuine means authentic. There is no way on earth you can know if somebody's authentic in the first time you meet them on a date because you don't know them. How do you know they're authentic? You don't know anything about them. You're saying pretty much that they are who they say they are, but you don't know them. You don't know their friends, their family. You can't say somebody's authentic the first time you meet them. That's just ridiculously, that's just ridiculous and stupid. Okay. So. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. like crazy that we're. Have you mentioned that you're 25? It's like, uh, what? Yeah, like, it just is not that crazy. And dude, I, you're 46. You're 46 talking like. Uh, hold on, let me calm down. I hate when people who are, I'm not talking about him necessarily being 46, but he's old enough to know that when he says, you oh, I mean, did people not know you're 25? <laughs> It's like, are, are you 46, D? Why are you acting like a little child? Okay. I just don't understand these 46-year-old men, these 40-year-old women who get on camera and they act like they're so young. It's like, you're 46. You could, I don't know why you can't conduct yourself like, she's 25, yeah. But y'all are putting this all on camera like it's a reality TV show. 
And he's just like, you you know, you're 46, right? You know, this is the internet, dude. You don't have to tell us this stuff. You can just go on about your day and live life. But I think the craziest part about all of it have been the assumptions that people have made, you know, like about my intelligence, about his intentions, about, I guess, either of our intentions. I mean, really, what it says about you is what bothers me more. Because it's like, you're like, so not, you know, you're a pretty sharp tack, you know. Yeah, thank you. Natty and Paige don't let this get to them, though. And they share their thoughts with their followers on TikTok. What advice would we give to other couples who are feeling judged by either the internet or people at large? I mean, I don't know. I'm not qualified to give anybody advice about anything. I'm glad he said that because they've only been together three weeks. What damn advice can he give y'all? Do you have any advice for us other people out here? They've been together three weeks. You need advice already? <laughs> you... What is somebody who's been in a relationship three weeks going to tell you? Um, it's okay. It's cool. Um, we already hate each other. Oh, you know, we went through some tough times the first week. And the second week, we really struggled. And then the third week, we found we found life. And so we believe, you know, if you just can make it through three weeks, then uh, you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll obviously, you know, be where we are today. Hey, nothing you can tell me in three weeks. But, you know, if you're someone, if you're in a relationship with someone you love and you both love each other, that's a great thing. And not everyone has that. So at least you've got that. All the bullshit around it sucks. I don't have a solution. Sorry. So they're asking us about what in our relationship, like, causes jealousy between each other. All right. So get ready. Buckle up. Get in your seatbelt. They're going to talk about why would they be jealous? Because when I first saw this, I was like, jealous? The only reason I could think that they would even bring up the word jealousy is because of one reason. I'm going to give you a second to guess what that reason is. All right, there's your second. Why do you think that they would ask, is there any type of relationship that causes each other jealousy? Why do you think they would put this in this particular video talking about an age gap? Why do you think they would ask the word about jealousy? As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, it has to be one thing each other um you're not jealous of my uh, other career Mm-mm. no no natty's main income actually comes from adult work which doesn't he's a, he's a corn star only fans model he makes he makes videos with other women you know what we're talking about and that sir is where my questions come up Okay. Well, the page. Video continue, I like uh, really, really like uh, Paige, <laughs> and I, I love being with her, and I love not having to worry about like finding someone to have affection for. Dog, I mean, guys, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna just be real honest with you. Look at this. I'm sorry. If he wasn't a corn star, I'd have a, I would have a different opinion. I would, I'm honest with you. If they were not, if he was not a corn star, I'd have a different opinion. But now that you, we both know that he's a corn star, and he's out there slanging it, and he gets with a girl who looks like that, who's young like that, I, I have to have some questions. And then I could be wrong, but y'all know how I feel about that industry. So people who are in that industry and the things that I imagine, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, men who are into this kind of stuff, they're, they normally are pretty rough with women in these adult films. Okay. And y'all know what I mean. Okay. Let's not get too vulgar, but yeah, I, I, I just have a hard time believing that this man right here fell in love with this girl in 12 hours and wanted to marry her in 12 hours in 12 hours. And he also does adult work. Someone to have affection for. Uh, you know what I mean? And all the hassles that go around with like, uh, I just. Uh, they're showing, they're showing clips in all these uh, past things as if this is uh, this, like this video was from a year ago. That's what's driving me crazy. It's like they're showing all these clips of them hanging out like it's been years since they've been together. Like this is a blast from the past. It's been three weeks. This video was probably made a couple days ago. It's like they're showing all these memories like they have some. Like it's like like they just came from a camp. That's that's a weird answer for 
about jealousy. But like, I haven't felt any. I don't think. You see what I'm saying? It, the, yeah. the, 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 when you look at it now, it just makes me laugh. It's like they're showing all these goofy little clips of them, and it's like it's been three weeks, dog. It's been 21 days. It has not been five years, five months. It ha- it's barely been five days. Yeah, I don't think in like the, the context of the age gap relationship, I don't really feel like there's anything that I feel like jealous about or like, for lack of a better word, like triggered by, you know? <laughs> of course not. It's like, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, young lady. Obviously, you don't care about that. Cause it seems like you're a single individual who doesn't have a whole lot of options. I'm just going to be real with you. The fact that the best thing you could come across to the 46-year-old man who has uh, relationships with other women all the time, just slanging it, I obviously think that your self-esteem is pretty low. You know, And maybe I'm making assumptions, of course, or maybe you're... Because it only takes a certain kind of woman to be into a man who is sleeping with other women. It takes a certain kind of woman. Either that woman has low, low self-esteem or she's a freak. And I don't mean like a freak, like uh, all real monsters. I mean like a she's also into that kind of stuff. She's also into the corn world. She also likes to have all these different relationships, if you know what I mean. This open relationship. That's what I mean by freak. She wants to do all this extra stuff. She's not. She don't got no boundaries. Um, we can make something. That's it. I mean, I'm being honest. That is that the, that's the only one kind of woman I could think that would want to do that. Who? What other kind of woman who would get with somebody who's slanging it around? knowing even though i know he's probably wearing protection and all this all kind of stuff there's still a chance the more women he has stuff with the more chances he's gonna take right there's gonna be some scenes where he probably doesn't use it and you're taking a chance of catching stuff i'm yeah. jealous of i'm jealous of your dog uh jimbo he, sometimes you give him a little too yeah. much attention. once again it's been three weeks phone. that's the only clip they got you give it too much you're jealous of my phone yes. yeah i'm so <laughs> jealous of they're talking like they've been oh, man <laughs> driving me crazy i'm about to go <laughs> That's off the radar <laughs> that's a good this turned into a good answer yeah do we have a uh, super couple answer. name do we we even they just oh my god spoken of it yeah what's our couple name do we have a super couple name what what couple what normal couple do you guys know that has a couple name a couple i understand they're on tiktok and everybody on tiktok apparently is the most famous person on earth you know what let me see his name is natty east junk okay let me let me see what his tiktok is what, does he have like 18 point million followers? I mean, let's, let's see. When are we going to get back to the days? Oh my gosh. TikTok is way too loud. What's his name? Natty East Junk, right? Natty East. Here he is, right here. Here he is. Let's see. 78,000 followers. Yep. He needs a couple name. Where's the girl at? Did they break up already? Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. She's not in any of his videos. Oh, here she is. One day ago, them eating in Texas. So, okay. They have a couple names for a guy who's a corn worker and he has 78,000 followers. Wow. Patty. We'll leave it up to the, the people. Patty? <laughs> Patty <laughs> eats Chuck Hill. And be honest, 78,000 followers on TikTok is equivalent to maybe. What do y'all think on? I always go. I just say times ten. So that's seven thousand subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. The average age gap between people in straight relationships is about two point three years. So Natty and Paige's age gap of twenty one years is certainly above average. But we think they're perfect. For How do you think that? How do you think that? How do you think that they're perfect for each other? That, I'll never understand that. <laughs> This, I, I've been holding it in for a good amount of time before I make this video. I gotta say this. Why do people do that, man? I don't understand why when somebody gets together and it's some crazy mix-up, right? Let's say let's say it's somebody who's 50 years older than somebody or somebody who loves to dress up like dogs or two people who likes one likes to play daddy and one likes to play little girl it's just always this little thing of but we think they're perfect for each other why are we not allowed to look at couples and judge them why can't we look at couples and go huh i have a, just a couple questions i don't even have questions about the age gap as much as i have questions about the fact that he is a corn worker the fact that he does adult films and he got with this girl who clearly looks like she must have a certain way of thinking to get with a man who is having relationships with other women for money, for filming, 
for views, for clicks, and she thinks that she's special to him? Like, what about the end? They, guys, they wanted to get married in 12 hours of meeting each other. That means one, either one or two things happened. They had a date. It lasted for a few hours. They went home and said, I, I want to marry them. Or what they made it sound like is she literally moved in with him within 12 hours. In fact, let's go back to the video. Let's go back to the video. Because I want y'all to see what they said in the very beginning. This is what happened. Now it's official, just happened right here on live. Natty Eats Junk asked me to be his girlfriend. Oh God. Well, you were the one who asked me to f move in. So so true. Let's move to Wyoming together so and raise dogs. Come and we'll get married in Vegas. And you were like, yeah, good. Kind of. Let me take your last name. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi, I'm Natty Eats Junk. And this is... I'm Paige. We have been together for... Three weeks. Three weeks. Like 21 days. Our age gap is 21 years. Within a 12 hours of meeting each other about we had decided that we were now roommates fiance fiance's uh, what do we say within 12 hours we knew that we were roommates fiance's she even says, <laughs> boyfriend roommate fiance boyfriend roommate fiance that makes me think and maybe i'm wrong but that makes me think that within 12 hours they moved in together they became boyfriend and girlfriend and they decided to be fiance. He made it official on TikTok Live, maybe some time later, but apparently within 12 hours, they knew they wanted to be together with each other. So what did she do? Come over to his house? Why was she over there? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did they meet? They didn't even mention that part, but he's also a, you know, he's in the adult entertainment industry. I, I, like, I'm trying to be honest here, but I think they met in a certain fashion she was either a part of a scene. I mean, where could he have been? You know what I'm saying? How where where could he have been that they moved together within 12 hours? Or did he did he meet her next door? Did he meet her at the local pub down the down the street? They would have had to have been in close vicinity for her to pick up her entire life and move in with somebody when she got rent to pay at another place. How did that happen? I'm just asking. I just, baby, I'm just asking. A, I just need a point of information. I just need to ask a couple questions. I'm just trying to get the information, make it understand to me. But I just hate these dumb shows that always say we think they're perfect for each other because everybody wants to believe in true love. I understand that. It's a lonely world out here, especially with all the websites we got. I get it. But to say that you think they're perfect for each other, you don't know the man. Because if something comes out and he, they are actually in a toxic relationship, he's doing stuff to her, he's she's doing stuff to him, and it comes out and it's gross, and we find out on TikTok that it was obviously messy and disgusting, and then they're, are they going to say that they were perfect for each other? Hey, I got a news flash for you, and you may not know this, but hey, nobody's perfect for each other. Did you know that? People think that me and my wife are perfect for each other. Did you know we're not? Me and my wife are different people. We like certain things. Some things we like. We both enjoy football. We both enjoy some wrestling. But there's a lot of things we don't enjoy together. My wife loves to draw. She has great handwriting. I can't draw a stick man. I have terrible handwriting. She reads books. I watch videos. You know, we're different people and there's obviously deeper, deeper things that makes us much different from each other. Do you think we're perfect? What does it mean to be? I, I, what does it mean to be perfect for each other, by the way? What does that mean? You have every hobby in together. Y'all like everything together. Or do you y'all just in love and you make it work? That's how most relationships and marriages work. You're in love with each other. You're willing to do whatever you can for that person. And you just make it work because life happens. Things go on. That's going to make you question a lot of things in this world. So I hate hearing we think they're perfect for each other. They've been together for three weeks. Gumball. Gumball. Yeah, I said gumball. I'm talking about the little blue cat from the TV show. Naive and dumb. If you think in three weeks, you know if a couple's perfect for each other. Just, just take a step back. Breathe. And my last, my last thing is that somebody had the nerve to ask these two individuals 
somebody who's in the adult industry and obviously a woman who I believe to have low self-esteem or to really be into that kind of world. Both are bad options. They said, do you guys have any advice? For what? Would you ask anybody who's done anything for three weeks for advice? If somebody's been a teacher for three weeks, do you think you can really get advice from them? They could tell you how to make it three weeks. Maybe we don't even know what the kids grades are in the class yet. Would you ask somebody who's been a plumber for three weeks? Be like, hey, so um, can I ask you about the intricacies of life? Can, would you ask a YouTuber for advice if they've been on YouTube for three weeks? Would you ask a TikToker for advice if they've been on TikTok for three weeks? Would you ask anybody anything if they've only done it for three weeks? I swear, TikTok is just a cesspool. I'm sorry. And it, it's got to be full of the weirdest people I have ever seen. Not these people. I do think they're weird, but I'm talking about the people in the comment section. It's just like, it doesn't matter. You know what? It's like, it doesn't matter what anybody does. Anybody can get on there and say, I like to, I like to, uh, I really like to roll around in the mud, get dirty as possible. And then after that, take a jar of pickle juice and pour it all over myself. And then after that, I cook a grilled cheese and then step on it for fun. And then I eat it. And people be like, man, that's, you're really living your life. Do you have any advice for anybody else who wants to roll around in the mud and get pickled? Ju no, no, there's no advice to give. It's a weirdo. They roll around in mud, put pickles on themselves and then eat grilled cheeses that they stepped on. What do you need advice about? Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Oh, my gosh. Let me know what you think. You think the age gap is weird? Do you think um, him being an adult entertainment worker is weird? Do you think she's weird for being into all of this for somehow? Me, personally, I think she's got some things going on, and clearly so does he.